Good morning. Today is Monday, the 28th of September. It's a feria in the 26th week of the church's year, and the memorials both for St. Wenceslaus and St. Lawrence Ruiz. In the, name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promise heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The first reading is the beginning of the book of Job. Um, we're continuing with the, the wisdom books, and Job is probably the most famous of them all. This introduction, I'll talk a little bit about uh, in my reflection. But the introduction ends with that famous little couplet. Naked I came from my mother's womb, naked I shall return. The Lord gave, the Lord has taken back, blessed be the name of the Lord. And the Gospel from Luke chapter 9, 40, verses 46 to 50. An argument started between the disciples about which of them was the greatest. Jesus knew what thoughts were going through their minds, and he took a little child and set him by his side, and then said to them, Anyone who welcomes this little child in my name welcomes me, and anyone who welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me. For the least among you all, that is the one who is great. John spoke up. Master, he said, we saw a man casting out devils in your name, and because he is not with us, we tried to stop him. But Jesus said to him, you must not stop him. Anyone who is not against you is for you. The Gospel of the Lord. begin with the two memorials. first memorial is St. Wenceslas, and he was a uh, king in what we call Czechoslovakia, in Prague. Um, he was a devout Christian, and when he came to the throne, he tried to build up and impose Christian values on the country. But they weren't ready for it, they rebelled against him, and his brother had him murdered him, so he became a martyr. Second martyr mentioned um, is actually one of 26 martyrs, um, all involved in the terrible persecution of Christians in the uh, 17th century in Japan, when the Japanese authorities decided that this Christian religion was strictly um, treasonable and everybody who believed it should be put to death. There was a lot of backwardsing and forwardsing between China and Philippines, which in many ways was the, the Christian base in the Far East. And some of the people martyred were Filipinos who'd gone to Japan to preach the message of Christ. Others were Japanese who'd been to Philippines for study and then come back to Japan. So there's a very, very real sense these are the martyrs both of Japan and the Philippines. The first reading is from Job. If you look at the book of Job, the beginning and the end are what is known as prose Job, where we have uh, a prose account of a very faithful servant of God, Job, and a discussion between Job and the devil about whether he's truly a, a believer <clears throat> or whether he's just doing it because it's a success story. And as you probably know the story, God takes away all Job's earthly benefits, his family, his health, his land, and he's left a miserable wreck, but he stays faithful. And at the end of the book, God rewards him, restoring all that to him, plus more. But the bulk of the book is a discussion between Job and three so-called comforters. And it doesn't directly refer to that prose story at all. It just looks at the whole question of undeserved, innocent suffering, and how can it can be explained. Um, and the comforters keep saying to Job, it's your fault, it's your fault. And Job saying, no, it's not my fault, I've done, not done anything to deserve it. And the end of the, what's called poetic Job, Job just casts himself 
on God's wisdom and says, Lord, I can't understand this. I accept that I've got this suffering. I can't give you the reasons why, but your will be done. Um, and it's a, the position of Christians as well, that we can't solve the problem of evil. The Gospel is basically instructions for the early church and the way the church goes about itself both to, with the apostles and with the subsequent leaders in the church, that there mustn't be jockeying for power. Jesus, first of all, says, no, the least of you is the person who's the best of you. He brings forward the little child as an example. And then he goes even further when they tell him that there's somebody else who's not even part of the community going around preaching in Jesus' name. And Jesus says, oh, let them do it. They're doing it in my name. If they're, they're not against you, they're for you. Um, and of course, this takes away the authority of those who want to kind of copyright or patent being Christians and followers of Jesus. If there is good, we should promote it wherever we find it. We turn now to our bidding prayers. The response is, Lord, accept our love and service. Lord, accept our love and service. Christ has given us all a share in his priesthood. We offer our prayers and ourselves in union with him. Lord, accept our love and service. Jesus Christ, you are the eternal priest. Make this morning's offering acceptable to the Father. Lord, accept our love and service. Lord, you are love itself. Grant that we may love you. Lord, accept our love and service. Give us today the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Make us patient, kind and gentle. Lord, accept our love and service. Give us the discernment to know the needs of our neighbours and give us the courage to love them as brothers and sisters. Lord, accept our love and service. We pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We pray. Almighty Lord and God, protect us by your power throughout the course of this day, even as you have enabled us to begin it. Do not let us turn aside to any sin, but let our every thought word and deed, aim at doing what is pleasing in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. Have a good day.